Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Energy oftentimes is described as uh, ability, capacity or capability of doing work. And we have the first law of uh, conservation of energy, state the law of conservation of energy as the first law of thermodynamics states that energy is neither created nor destroyed, but is being converted from one form to another. Uh, energy is measured in joules and one joule is the temperature is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of uh, one gram of water by 0 0.239 degrees Celsius or 0 0.239 Kelvin. Yeah. We also will talk about um, standard heat. Uh, standard heat is um, the amount of heat re that is evolved or absorbed during a chemical reaction that occurs between them. Um, one mole of substances of the chemical rea being reacted together under standard conditions. And basically, our uh, chemical reactions, whenever it happens, it usually involves its production or absorption, its evolvement or absorbment. Now, in either way, whether it is being given off or it is being absorbed, we have different terminologies for them. We have um, when it is being liberated or given off during a chemical reaction, it is known as an exothermic reaction. While an endothermic reaction is an, a chemical reaction which requires heat for it to go, um, for it to actually occur, which means it absorbs heat for it to happen. Um, the the heat of reaction basically generally talks about the heat that is used up in the course of a particular chemical reaction. We have different types of it. We have the heat, the standard heat of formation of a substance. We have the standard heat of neutralization, the standard heat of combustion, the standard heat of solution. Now each of these standard heats have their individual definitions which have already been placed on the slide for you to look at. Just take a look at them and get familiar with them. Spontaneity. Spontaneity simply talks about um, the occurrence of the, uh, the frequency and occurrence of a chemical reaction. Now, generally, there are certain energies required, of course, for these things to happen. Now, the, one of the very, very most important items for spontaneity of, a, of an a chemical equation, um, reaction is the entropy of the reaction. The entropy of the reaction and the enthalpy of the reaction. Entropy is a level of disorderliness or randomness of a particular substance. The substances that have the highest entropy are gases, um, followed by the liquids, and the solids are the ones with the least um, amount of entropies. We have a chemical rea um, a chemical form a formula on the screen uh, indicating the conditions for the spontaneity of reactions. Now, for any chemical reaction to be spontaneous, it is required that the total entropy must increase and for total entropy to increase looking at the formula on the screen we we'll notice that we have to have a G which is negative that's the change the change the free energy change in G has to be negative if the change in V if the if a reaction is exothermic of course it would result to the vibration of the particles of the of the chemical substances reacted together and at the end of the day it will bring about a spontaneous reaction and now when the a reaction is endothermic it is most likely going to be um, non-spontaneous because it is absorbing it from the environment which means that the particles might not be vibrating much but if the enthalpy is high and the entropy is uh, the entropy is high and they are high enough to reduce the free energy then our reaction can be spontaneous and if G is um, zero uh, it means that um, it, uh, both delta that's both entropy change in entropy and change in enthalpy is equal to zero Fusion Mobile quality e-learning experience on the go